What's up, villains? Welcome to another video. Before Vitaly ZDTV would reach the status of YouTube legend with streaking the World Cup Finals, the World Series, and an attempt to streak the Super Bowl in the NBA Finals. <laughs> Vitaly ZDTV! Before his girlfriend would streak the 2019 Championship League Finals. <laughs> Before Vitaly would clock in over 10 million subscribers on his main YouTube channel, another 2 million on his second, and over 3 million on Instagram at the time of this recording. Feeling great, dude. This is like the best thing ever, dude. Yeah, it's like a whole nother level out here. Peaceful. I needed this. Before Vitaly would be hanging out with the likes of Dan Bilzerian, Steve Aoki, Offset, DJ Khaled, Nelk, Justin Bieber, Snoop Dogg, and more. Uncle Snoop chilling. Vitaly ZDTV in the mother building. Hey Snoop, did you know your nephew be pimping? My goal is digger prank and how to get girls to kiss him. Miami zombie prank? The city missed him. I'm going to Hollywood, so you better start lifting. Now there have been few legends who have had quite as much an impact on the world of YouTube, quite like Vitaly ZDTV. I mean, who else has had the FBI, the National Guard, and Homeland Security all trying to shut down their pranks? Now it's been a long road to the top for Vitaly. He's overcome a ton and he learned pretty early on that he needed to make opportunities happen for himself. Now his breakout year was in 2012, and despite having been working on the platform for almost a decade, well he's showing no signs of slowing down and continues to evolve. Now he's currently living out his childhood dream, he's rich, he's famous, he travels the world, he gets to hang out with beautiful women, they work with him on Vitaly Uncensored, and he's dating the woman of his dreams. I can't believe this, my baby girl, the girl that I'm gonna marry, I'm so I'm proud of you, Kinsey. I love you. Now, I don't know if the two are still together or not. If they broke up, well, then that's an awkward clip we decided to use. So let's move on. Now, we have dug up so much old, never-before-seen footage on Vitaly. I got a feeling that if he watches this video, he's going to poop himself. Kind of like that time with the alligator. Wait, the alligator's not that big. Just Keep your eye on the alligator. Huh? Yeah, I would. What? I would your eye on the mother. <laughs> Hang on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCrenton with an updated video documenting the come up story of Vitaly ZDTV prior to fame. Here view of course of Before They Are Famous. Now when we first made this video back in 2016, well there wasn't a ton of info out there about his formative years. There wasn't even a baby photo for the thumbnail. So yeah, we got a lot of updates. Now recent drops on this channel include Steve Will Do It and The Boys and Nelk. How about an updated video on Dan Bilzerian or Bradley Martin? You guys gotta let us know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! All right, well this is my neighborhood where I grew up. Here you go, right here. Check this out. I'm not gonna show you what building I live in, but this is it, look at this. Vitaly Zdorovetsky was born on March 8, 1992 in Murmansk, Russia. Now shortly after, he moved with his family to Odessa, Ukraine where he grew up. Now it's clear from his childhood photos that Vitaly, he had a really close bond with his mother. He posts plenty of pictures of her and he cites her as his queen. She does the same with her own Instagram bio reading, I love my son, King Vitaly. You know what's crazy? I used to watch in 2007 when it didn't speak any English. I was just watching MTV, Fantasy Factory, Robin Biggs. Like, this guy's cool, he's doing all this cool shit. Wait, you didn't speak English then? No, I moved to this country you in 2004. You speak perfect English. Oh, thanks. I was getting... A Locked in my room and I couldn't come out until I learned all the words. <laughs> <laughs> my stab that was harsh, yes. Now his relationship with his biological father is a bit of a mystery. There's an old photo floating around the internet, leaving people to think that either his biological father was in the Afghani war or that Vitaly, well that man, he's a bit of a time traveler. I guess because it's black and white, they think it's a way back playback. Although he had moved from Russia to the Ukraine, he would still travel back and forth on the regular. Now his stepfather was a real piece of shit he would often yell at a young Vitaly and constantly tell him that he wouldn't amount to anything. In 1999, his family, they moved out to Lake Worth, Florida, but Vitaly, he didn't speak a lick of English, and as a result, well, he had a hard time making friends. Now, not a lot of people know this, but Vitaly, he actually had a brother. We believe his name was Gene. Now, Vitaly cited him as being extremely intellectual, and compared to him, well, Vitaly, he always felt like a f up. Now, sadly, his brother, he would suddenly pass away in 2008, which naturally it took its toll on the young family. Now living in Florida, Vitaly, he attended Park Vista Community High School for two years, and there he was known as the class clown. 
Now he eventually graduated from Boca High School. Now he got a job as a garbage collector when he was 15 years old. There he was making 15 bucks an hour. He later worked as a sign spinner wearing an Uncle Sam outfit and then he got a job as a busboy. Now all the while he dreamed for a better life. From an early age he wanted to be a famous movie star citing the Terminator as his light bulb moment back in his youth. Now in Florida he tried his hand at skateboarding but after several injuries well he had to accept the fact that he was no Tony Hawk. Now we were actually lucky enough to dig up some old footage from back in his skateboarding days. At home his stepdad became both verbally and physically abusive and he was desperate to move out of his parents house. Now he was working as a waiter and he quickly came to the realization that no one was going to give him a break in show business and that he would need to make opportunities for himself. Now that's when one of his Russian pals called him up with an opportunity to make some extra money appearing in an episode of Bang Bros. Desperate for that extra cash Vitaly he jumped up the opportunity and he threw back a blue pill to make sure he could perform on camera. That day I did take Viagra. But that didn't work. <laughs> Rumors about his brief foray into porn, they were buzzing back in 2013. And finally, he went public talking about his experience in the summer of 2016. In the end, was it worth it? Totally. Because I took that money and moved my mom out and myself to Los Angeles. And we never had to see the crazy stepdad again. Witnessing the growth of artists like Justin Bieber off of YouTube, well Vitaly he would begin to upload his own content to the site. He used a video camera gifted to him by his grandmother and he started his main channel on August 7, 2011. Here he dropped his first video, Disturbing the Peace Part 1. This was on August 10th. Kiss me. No, come on, man. No, no. Kiss me, man. No, man. Come you have on. a green card? Huh? You have a green card? No, no, no. She doesn't have a green card. <laughs> Now if you go back and watch this video now, it's accumulated over 5 million views at the time of this recording, but back in 2011, well Vitaly, he wasn't exactly making bank off of YouTube, not yet. Now it took months to get his first 100 subscribers, and he even quit for a few months before getting back into it. Now in the meantime, he would try his hand at background work, appearing in films like Pain and Gain. Then on June 12, 2012, he struck YouTube gold. His Miami zombie attack prank video that went viral. Now the video has since reached over 33 million views at the time of this recording, and his most popular video of all time, How to Get Girls to Kiss You from May 2nd of 2013, well it's since amassed over 73 million views at the time of this recording. But Vitaly's ability to hit big numbers and stay popular through the years has actually come at a cost. Now Vitaly, he actually told me, I got a gun pulled out on me in 2013, knife in 2012, and been arrested a whole bunch of times. In fact, he told me when we talked back in 2016 or 2017 that he's been arrested a total of 14 times. No felonies, just collecting misdemeanors. I am passionate for what I do. If I have to get arrested for that, I'm gonna do. The law's not gonna stop me. I was born on this earth to be free. Now when I asked Vitaly about making it in the fame game, well he joked that he felt famous as soon as he had hit 3,000 subscribers. Now he began working with other famous YouTubers, hanging out with FouseyTube, and collaborating with Roman Atwood on the regular. As his notoriety online began to progress, well it would require him to do more and more crazy stunts. <laughs> His YouTube career would turn him into a multi-millionaire and it wouldn't take long for him to make the move to LA. Now when he dropped his gold digger prank in 2013, well that video it clocked in 18 million views in the first week. And it was during that month that Vitaly, he became the most watched YouTube channel on the entire platform. Now today the video it's close to 50 million views and it's still climbing. It's also a bit of a classic, you know what I mean? Today Vitaly's no longer taking jobs as a background extra, but instead he's starring in films like his prank collab with Roman Atwood and Dennis Rohde, that one titled Natural Born Pranksters. Now there was also the YouTuber film Airplane Mode and the Nicolas Cage film 211, or 211, I haven't seen it, but I heard Amanda Cerny's in it as well. Now of course YouTube, it became a very crowded place and with videos getting age gated and copyright claims, well, it just became harder and harder for the man to make a living off of his online antics. Now, Vitaly, he launched his own website, Vitaly Uncensored, and there, those who sign up, they pay around $4.99, or now I believe it's about $14.99, but they get to watch his more mature content. When his girlfriend streaked at the Championship League, well, various news publications, they've quoted that as being a $4 million stunt. That's how much revenue it brought into his website. 
absolutely crazy. Good for them. Talk about couple goals. Now I actually did a full interview with Kinsey Sue. If you want to check that out, we'll leave a link down below. What a beautiful girl. I hope they're still together. They seem to be really happy with each other. But I guess if you make 4 million bucks, you know, you're gonna love it. I think they're together. I hope they are. I don't know. As for the rest of the story, well, I'm gonna wrap this one up here because this is before they're famous. If they're not, I'll have to do an after they're famous on Kinsey. Or where are they now? Damn, I'm never gonna run out of videos. All right, see you guys in another one. Bye. Boom!